Shalom. I am Para Gafan Yahoo from the Order of Eternal Excellency within Ulam Kohin by Eth Rafa and Isha of Moray Tekoa Gadon Imuna. What medium do you use to give worship to Yahuwah and what is your medium of choice? A few mediums that I like to use, the first one will be dance. Even though I don't have a rhythm bone in my body, um, I do have a daughter who loves to dance. And my prayer is that even through our dance together, she can see and witness and be used by Yahuwah at a young age. Another medium would be photography and videography. Um, this is something new to me, but recently I've gained a love for nature and what Yahuwah displays through it. To me, it is just so amazing that you can look at the sky and never see two identical pieces of artwork. Isn't Yahuwah so amazing? The next one would be crafts, um, creating unique designs that allow myself and others to express themselves without saying a word. Whether it's a pen, a t-shirt, a journal, or a custom sticker that's used to glorify Yahuwah, it's a conversation starter. And a newfound craft that I've grown to love is painting. It's so relaxing and you can use your custom artwork for pieces to hang in your home. So it's a win-win. However, my medium of choice would be music, um, specifically worship. Um, there's nothing like getting into the presence of Yahuwah and just wanting to stay there and worship at his feet all day. Um, it's in those moments where you're not just making something, but you're making a connection. It's like grabbing a cup of coffee with Yahuwah and sharing stories without saying a word. What core belief have you had to change or develop to go forth as an artist? One belief that I have to change is thinking that I have to do it alone. It's a path that many others have walked before me, and I have to allow myself to be a follower before I can be a leader. Growing up in a family where the women did what they needed to do to get it done, this was hard for me, but one of the best decisions of my life. Letting go and being totally dependent upon Yahuwah and my Ish as Yahuwah leads. There's so much joy in being able to depend upon Yahuwah and not worry about the things of this world. Not that the things won't happen, but not allowing those things to take my joy is priceless. What is the Akoti Project? It's a place where we as sisters in this truth can come together and not only lean on, but also uplift each other. I look at it as being in school. We'll come in the Akoti Project as students and leave as teachers, being able to continue the legacy and vision of what Hagabir Malaka has started. Shalom.